17 of Skip Moore from Jackson. Ready to go. Top five will go to the field draw for the right field. It's Schwarzlander's McCutcheon Enterprises car still leads. Skidmore second, John Flinger third, then Rex King Sr. and Rex Jr. The leader gets lane choice. Bill, Jeremiah Shingledecker from Polk in the ASAP Asphalt Ceiling Village Auto 37 MD. 30 or the 17H of Kevin Hoffman, the Hoffman Door Company ride out of Franklin. Rex King Sr. in the 65, the GS engine power, midway garage. One, three, six, five, three, one, one, three, six, five. 311 365. You have 15 minutes to get your money. Kids bike races with a great prize for the first 75 kids participating this Tuesday night. 
Oh, Mercer does not race tomorrow night. Murdoch still leads. Brad Raff trying to take second from Dean Pearson. their continued support. Still 22 laps to go. It's been the Dave Murdoch show so far. Schwarzenegger started last. Brian Schwarzenegger charging up through the field. He's the third. Brad Rapp on a shake off the Berman turn two. He loses a bunch of ground.
from last to first, his 75th Lernerville modified win in the fourth time, and his 75th modified win here at Lernerville where he tops the list. The precise toe and die. He's contracting McCutcheon Enterprises. Troy, or the backup car, won his heat race in a different car tonight. Had to start last in the field. Hello, nice hand. He's out of the car from last to first in Sheets Victory Lane in the deal modified. Brian Schwartzlander, your winner of the Joe Pitcavish Memorial. Let's talk to the winner. <laughs> Kayla Guidis, Ms. Lernerville has the big trophy too. Brian, congratulations, man. I've seen you win a lot of races. So I don't know if I've ever seen you win one from last. Well, I told the guys we've done it before, you know, and I knew it was going to be a long road ahead, but I said, you know, we got extra, some extra laps this week, and, you know, just lucky to get there. You know, it's nice having a backup card. It's good. And um, I first want to apologize to the fans for a few weeks ago. That's out of my character to do what I did, but you know it's kind of it was a devastating loss, and um, you know I, I, that won't happen again. But uh, you know I kind of felt bad about that. But uh, it's tough when you lose a race in the last corner, you know. It is tough, but uh, what an effort tonight! And were you aware of Jeremiah's presence at the end? No, and I, uh, you know, I, I know better than to like ease off a little bit, and I was easing up through traffic, and uh, he showed me his nose, and I'm like, holy cow, I better get going, you know, because uh, he was right there, and I didn't realize it, you know. Joe Picavish was from the Allegheny Valley, and uh, he had cars here that you raced against for a long time, back when you were in your younger days. And this is the fourth time you've won this race. Well, you know, it's an honor to win this race. Uh, you know, a great, great team. Picavish, you know, I, I never really ran against the, the Hemi car, you know, but I remember as a kid growing up, I mean, I sat up in those stands, and you didn't have to see the car. You could just listen, and you knew where, that, that the Cabbage Hemi was there. You know, awesome team, won so many races here. It was fun to watch it, them and Blackie, you know. So it's an honor to win this race, it really is. Do you, do you gear up for these special races, memorial races? Well, you know, no more than, you know, usual. We, we, we put a lot of time, and i got to give the credit to the crew for that. Uh, but, you know, in the back of your mind, you know, you really want to win these races because these are people that I grew up admiring and, you know, watching. And, and, and it's just an honor to be able to run and, and win a Cabbage Memorial. And now we've won, I guess, four, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really neat to do that. People you need to thank. Yeah, McCutcheon Enterprises can't do it without them. Uh, JDRF, uh, Diabetes Foundation, Peace Contracting, uh, Precise Racing Products, Precise uh, Tool and Die. You know, without these people, we definitely couldn't be here. Uh, I just can't say enough what a team we have, you know. Congratulations. Thanks, Doc. I appreciate it. It's 75th Lernerville win, Brian Schwartzlander. While they're taking his picture, we'll get a word with our uh, second and third place finishers. <laughs> Jeremiah Shingledecker, second tonight. He's won this race before. We'll get his take on things. You certainly made it interesting. Yeah, I, I'd like to see that wall out there about another five feet right there. I, I think that pretty well slowed me down about five to go, but uh, congratulations to Brian. I don't know what happened to Murdoch. He must have broke. Uh, he did. Yeah. I don't know what happened either, but he slowed real quick and went to the pits. It looked like it took you a while to get going. It did. I, the car's a little bit looser than what we normally have it. I think it's actually better. I, I got really good drive. It just was me getting used to the car, I think, most of it. Uh, I need to learn how to run that cushion down there. I think that's, that's where I'm losing speed. So. Well, you were definitely good getting in, but he had just a little bit more up on the top getting off. But uh, you gave it your all. Did you think you had a chance when the white flag waved? I, I did. You know, I, I got pretty well beside him down the back stretch. And once he took the low line getting into three, I knew it was over for me. But uh, uh, I'd like to thank some sponsors. Go ahead. Rampart, uh, Steve's Tees, Alterna Matt, ASAP, Village Auto. Uh, TD Machine Products, Hoosier, uh, the whole crew, 
You know, they worked on this thing a lot. We haven't had a lot of good luck yet this year. Oh, but it looks like it's going in the right direction. I hope we can keep it that way. <laughs> we can continue on. Thanks, Jeremiah. Thank you. Jeremiah Shingledecker, folks. He was second. Brad, real quick. Is this the same car you've been running here? Yeah, it's the same car I've had all year. Um, we've been uh, pretty competitive with it, but just not really satisfied. So we tried a couple of things different that we hadn't run all year, and it worked really good tonight. Um, I'll just to say, because the car looked a lot different than it has looked, the way you were rolling it over and leaning on the, on the right side so much. Yeah, I mean, we kind of, we were going, I don't want to say experimenting, but things that we just wanted to try, and none of it really worked the way we wanted so tonight. We just went back to the basic setup, and, hey, you know, it worked really good tonight. You, too, look like late in the race you were starting to reel in the front two uh yeah the car was actually good the whole race but the, the, that last restart there we kind of i don't know what happened but got you know shuffled out and to the back a little bit and had to work my way up through if that wouldn't have happened uh i kind of like my chances but you know this is what we got so we'll take it well this is one of your better runs so far here this year it's one piece you're finishing the top three and you're going home yeah that's right that's how we like to keep it thank you brad rapp ladies and gentlemen the third place finisher tonight Dave Murdick, by the way, broke motor problems in the 61 as one sent him to the pits. Very good Joe Picavish Memorial. They usually are, and this one lived up to the billing. Oh, yeah. Another, another good one, another uh, good close, close one. I thought David, Dave was going to win one, uh, win, win the whole thing, but... Uh, they did a real nice, uh, real nice hard race there at the end. I was reading down all the people that sponsored your laps and your hard luck and your hard chargers. Once again, you had a lot of support. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I, I got, I got so, so a lot of good friends that just want to be part of this. Uh, they were good friends of my grandfather, friends of my family, and and um, then the hard luck award. Me and me and Bob took that one on ourselves because if anybody knows hard luck, it's us. But uh, but yeah, it's. Well, I think your former driver probably won it. Yeah, he got. Yeah, he, he probably got that that tonight too. But uh, but yeah, it's it's just overwhelming support for this race, and a lot of people look forward to it. They do. We appreciate you doing it. It's been a lot of years now. Keep it up. Oh yeah, do as long as I can. All righty, Jimmy Pekavich, ladies and gentlemen, the grandson of the late Joe Pekavich.